Do you feel the vibe? What's going on guys? It's Coach Drowsy Boar and I'm here with Essence Zealots to talk about the grand size of Zenith. They just posted a map and we think we've deciphered not only what the pre-alpha uh, area looks like but also the area we'll be able to explore in Alpha 1, Alpha 2, and possibly even Beta and beyond. So let's hop right into it without any further ado. So right here what we have behind me is the map that pops up in game in Zenith that talks that just shows us a couple of the different areas starting with this pink area in the top left of the main city which is the city of Zenith um, a little bit of the Galleon Valley the Amorite Forest at the bottom and some unknown places that we haven't reached yet um, now the content creators that have been partnered with Zenith have talked about uh, this area right here in the pre-alpha is specifically the only areas they're able to access right now up to about level 15 mobs um, quest line up to about level 10 uh, they've t already told us that the level cap for alpha 1 is going to be level 40 and that the quests are going to extend beyond that um, and they're saying that this entire area here, highlighted in pink and blue, is going to be available to all of us in Alpha 1 who have access to Alpha 1. So it's about double the size as it is, and it took the uh, content creators about two days to explore this entire area. And they've already had a little bit of access and play with the game, just to show you how big a size it is. Now, if we take a closer look... At the left and right side, you'll notice these gray, lighter gray area blobs kind of etched out. Now this isn't an ordinary part of the map, so I zoomed in specifically on this logo here. And as you can see up top, question mark, question mark, question mark for Alpha 2. Now initially I thought this was for everything this entire gray blob all around. I'm like, wow, Alpha 2 is going to be huge. But then upon closer inspection here and here, you can notice two huge differences. In the yellow, you can see that this map is detailed. There's mountain ranges. It's it's sharp. There aren't. It's not a blob like this green one closer to me here. It's just a gray blob. Nothing's really etched out. Now, that to me tells me that this entire area and for an, another example if we look a little further to the left you can actually see what looks like a city just like right here in front of my hand it's the same exact style of buildings um, so I'm assuming that that's an extension and this is already fleshed out now if you were to look at it from a um, artist perspective what they'll do is they'll draw concept design to buildings or plant life or the forest or wherever it may be um, just get an idea for what their area is gonna feel like what it's gonna look like and then they start to shape it and they draw a typography type map um, a top-down view showing okay we want islands here we want a small group of forest t trees here a uh, city here you know and kind of flesh it all out and that's the stage that we're at here which tells me that they then sent it to a 3d artist and they're either working on the alpha 2 areas right now building that in in virtual reality for us to use when alpha 2 comes around in june or that they're going to be uh, that they've already created it and they're working on the betas and further so um, I went ahead and I drew out Alpha 2's map and it looks like this. As you can see there's an extension not only of the northern coastline up there in the Galleon Valley but there's an extension in the main city of Zenith as well as the Galleon Valley has uh, an expansion off to the west and there's much more area to look through in the Amorite Forest and below it. Now. This is huge because this not only ex extends what we have in the pre-alpha, but it also extends what we have in alpha one. So whatever this area is in pink is gonna be extended to the north as well. Pretty exciting stuff. So that brings me to the final area, which is this green area here. 
and since there is no label it is not fleshed out there's no buildings and stuff that tells me they're a little further behind on the process or they just don't want to reveal it to us yet which brings me to believe that this is going to be from either the first beta or on and it could be split into sections we don't know yet but i'm thinking there's plenty of space for the emerald desert there's plenty of space for the city in the emerald desert uh, maybe right here where you see this little coastline in this river that could be the radiant coast maybe not maybe that's somewhere else um, but this is just some of the concept art they've given us and uh, there's as you can see there's plenty of space for it which just wows me because look at this blue area this is what we've seen it took the people two days to explore this far to get from level one to level 15 ish um and with all the rest of this level 40 is going to be the level cap for alpha one maybe it might be the same maybe they might grow it for alpha two and beta and beyond who knows this is going to take weeks weeks for you if you were solely just exploring and trying to cover all the it's going to take a long time now uh, one last thing I noticed on the map there's a hard cutoff at the top and at the bottom here so there might be an ex expansion going north or south of those two lines possibly it could be the world wrapping around itself or last but not least it could just be the fact that they just didn't have room to fit it on the map you know and it's just a tiny bit further above what we can see so um, either way I'm so excited to get started and to meet you guys out there. And this is Coach Drowsy Boar signing off. Stay drowsy. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Essence Zealots content. And remember, it's GG Easy with Easy.